In this video, I'll show you how we can install the additional apps on the ERP Next. So for this particular tutorial, I'll be installing the HR app. And as you know that we can install using the Docker environment, only one single command is there. I'll not be repeating the entire process, but right now there is no container available. There is no volume available right now. These three images which were already downloaded, one was the Frappe ERP Next 15.4 and one is the MariaDB and then is Redis also. These are automatically downloaded so i'll be creating my stack of the erp next and i'll be doing it docker compose dash project file will be pwd and dash file will be pwd.yaml and here i'll be using up dash t i'll be running one more command docker logs and it will be for pwd dash create dash site dash one and i'll be continuously taking these logs you can see here that ERP Next is installed. So we need to now install HRMS. First of all, we need to understand that how these are communicating with each other. If you see here that in Docker, there are various containers available here. One container is front end and another is back end. I don't need the create site and configurator because the job of these is done. Even if you delete it, it won't create any problems. I'll just stop these all again and all the containers are stopped now so if i start them again now and if i go back here you can see here that it is working fine so we need to now install hrms so if i try to install the app in front end of course it will not automatically install in back end first of all let us try to install application in the front end i can go back to the terminal from here also but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be going through a shell because if you are not using docker desktops if you are using linux i'll be looking at list of all the containers which are available and here is my front end container where the code is also there so this is my front end container i'll be copying the name i'll be just going here docker exec and interactive terminal and i'll be pasting the container name here slash bin slash bash I have the apps folder here and I have the sites folder here. First of all, let me understand that what is there in the apps folder. So in this stack, ERP next is installed. We need to get the application using the command called bench get app and HRMS. It will install in the app directory. App is downloaded, but it is not installed inside the site. And inside sites, we had the front end, and this is our site here. And in front end, we will be checking what type of apps are installed here. So I'll be looking at bench and site. Site is the front end, and I'll be looking at the list of apps. And it shows me that these are two apps which are installed. Of course, the app is not installed, so we'll be installing the app. We'll do bench, site, and on which site we want to install this app, which is front end, install app hrms so now it shows me that hrms is already installed i will just see the list now it shows that now hrms has been added i'll do bench migrate and skip failing if i go back here to the site now and if i try to open this it will give internal server error the reason is because front end is trying to talk to back end and back end is different than the front end so what i'll do here i'll be again going to back end here and i'll do the same in the back end also so i'll be going here bench get app hrms and it will start getting the app here as well we have to install this app to site also bench and site name is front end and we'll install app hrms bench site and site name is front end list apps so it shows me that these three apps are already there one is frappe one is erp next one is hrms so i'll be doing the bench migrate also all right so it is done now we need to restart all these containers the reason is because there is no synchronization taking place between the front end and back end so i'll be just selecting my entire stack here pwd and i'll just stop this and i'll start this again and now we'll go back here to the localhost 8080 and you can see here now my site is running I'll switch to desk and now I'll run the wizard. Of course, you could run the wizard earlier also, but I'll be just running the wizard here. And now you can see here that HR module is already installed. If I show you here in help about, you can see here that 
ERP Next is installed, Frappe Framework is installed, and Frappe HR version 16 is installed. So I can go back here to all these modules here. So you can see here in HR, employee, so create new employee, and payroll, everything is there. HR settings, all of these settings can be done here. So this was the easiest way that I found to install the app. And if you see here that all the containers are also running and all the containers are also synchronized with each other. So stats, so you can see here the load on the front end. And these are all the images. So these three images were downloaded. And of course, these are all the volumes which are created. And you can start learning more. If you need any help, you can message me in the comment section.